Right, so let's look at the first lab in terms of our data fundamentals. So we'll look at some basic formats such as hex, decimal and binary. Also look at base64 and then we'll do some regular expressions to be able to search for some data. So we'll be using regular expressions quite often uh, in, in this course so it's good to get used to them. Okay, so the first one uh, we want a character Z and we're going to convert it into hexadecimal. So there's a Z for ASCII and there's the equivalent in B64, there's hex and there's binary. So next one we'll take 42 hex here, 42, and convert and that becomes a capital B. There's the binary stream and then there's the B64. Okay, so go ahead and do those ones. So the next thing we need to do here is we have some B64. We copy that and we'll put that into here. And let's see what that says. And it says goodbye. Okay, so goodbye is the ASCII, there's the hex and there's the decimal. Okay, so I'll fill in that one there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this regular expression calculator, online calculator, and we'll set up some text to be able to mine. So the first thing we need to do is to be able to mine for email addresses. So what you should find is the text can be copied and pasted into here. So I've just started here. So there's our text. And what we'll do is that we have our regular expression in here, and then we can actually add our modifier uh, in there too. So I've just set up some basic ones. So this is our basic email. Not great, but it uh, should certainly work. So you can see there it's picked up the first one. And then what we can do is that we can have a G modifier to pick up more than one. So it's picked up this one okay. It's just picked up the first letter there. So it's not really perfect because it should be picking up the dots and so on. It's picked up this one, which is a, a domain name. So what we'll do is that uh, we'll, we'll copy and paste a better one. So online we might be able to find this one here. So just watch what you're doing because I've left in some spaces there. So you can see there when I get rid of the space, then it's actually picked off. So this is a better one because now what we're doing is that we're able to say, uh, in this case, uh, this is the first part there, and then there's the there's the at. So we're taking anything with a dot or even anything without a dot, so that that will match quite happily. Then we're taking this, which is to take uh, anything between one and three. Uh, numbers from there and then a dot so this is this will give us an IP address here for this part and then this is an or okay and then we can actually have uh, uh, our modified there so that's the word and then a dot uh, and then and then so on okay so in this way we've actually improved on our uh, initial uh, guess for it Okay, so the second part is that we're going to look for an IP address in there. So if we spot, that looks like an IP address. And there's another one there. So we'll just pull up our standard IP address here. There we go. That's fairly simple. Four sets of one between one and three uh, numbers. So let's try that one. Okay. And there we go. So it's picked off that one correctly and that one correctly. Unfortunately, it's went for this one too. So it's not quite picked off the IP address, but it's certainly picked off two IP addresses with inside there. So the next part that we're going to have a look at is uh, is to be able to look at telephone numbers, US style. Then that's that one. So go on there and we'll have a look to see if we can find them there. Uh, so let's have a look. Doesn't look like there is any. There is one in there. So let's let's just check that. So it's three digits, and then it's a dot. And then it's three digits, 
three digits. So we have four digits there. So we just need to modify that one slightly. And then it's picked up there. So we can have a look at the actual the correct format for the, the US uh, telephone addresses there. But this one is three digits, four digits, and then four digits, and in between either a slash or a dot. So the slash would have been quite happy in there too. It doesn't really matter because we're taking one of the options. OK, so let's look at UK postcodes. So simple UK postcodes is uh, two, two letters and then two numbers. And then then uh, if we pick off from here, we can see that there is one there. So it's two letters, a number, one or two numbers one or two numbers and then uh, two letters after it. Here's one here that actually doesn't have a space in it. So let's have a look to see if we can pick off. Okay, so it's picked that one and then it's picked that one there. So you can see it hasn't picked that one. Obviously if we put a space in, everything's fine. So what we could do is that we could actually select either a space or not with a question mark. Okay, the question mark will match one, zero or more uh, within there. So we're saying match if the space is there or if it's not there. That's what the question mark actually does. Okay, so then we can pick this one up here. Okay, so let's see what the next thing is we need to look at and that's for credit card details. So you can see the credit card details are here and anywhere else. And there's another one. Okay, so let's pick off our credit card details. Uh, so this is, a, if you're interested, this is a more complex one that you can get online for a postcode. And uh, very complicated, uh, but it should be able to pick off postcodes uh, from it uh, in, in there. Right, so what we'll do is that we'll pick off our Visa cards, our MasterCard. So we see it's picked off that one. So this one, four, three digits, a space or a hyphen, uh, and so on. So we could also pick off a 5, but if we wanted we can have a 4 or a 5. And we can see that merges the two of them together and we'll pick off both because both MasterCard and Visa have a similar type of format. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this last G modifier is used to search more than once. There's an example. Okay, we've seen earlier that uh, Fred.home triggers because we didn't have the the dot uh, in there. So this was this is a better one for picking off the email address because we actually have the dot in between, either for numbers or for for domains. It only picked up one credit card before, but we can obviously modify it with uh, with these digits in there. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, picking off MAC addresses in there. So the MAC address one will generally look like that. So this is uh, what's five of these. Okay, five, two. Uh, hex characters and then one at the end so there's six separated by a colon so let's look if see if we can find the MAC address in there okay so there are there, there what it's not found is the one with the dots a Cisco format so what we can do is we can modify that one to either a colon or a dot and then it'll pick up both of them Okay. 
and what we want to do now is to pick off our domain names so here's a very simple one just looking at uh, a name and then .com, .net or .uk so let's try that one okay so it's picked up there home.net, amazon.com, google.com but we can do a more complicated one so just this one here I'll look at a wider number of, of domains okay so it's picked off the, the main ones that we have them okay so this is giving you a, a basic introduction to using regular expressions